What's up guys, as the title says, I'm gonna be going over all the delivery issues with the 2020 Model Y. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo. Now, how I'm gonna do this video, I'm gonna be going over all the issues I found with my specific Model Y. After that, I'm gonna go over things that you may wanna check up with your Model Y when you're picking it up. Oh, it's about 6.30 right now. I'm about to cash out with Nicola. So, all, oh, let's see what it's doing right now. 67.02. If that jumps up a little bit, I'm swiping up. Let's do it. Boom! There we go, 6734. I bought that at 63.99. And no offense to Nicola, if they be successful, more power to them, but I'm just trying to cash out real quick. Earn an easy $100, $200. Okay, so we're gonna go around the car clockwise, starting with the front, everything that's wrong with the front. Here you could see that obviously there's a gap here, uh, misalignment issues. If, you, if I compare this, driver's side with the passenger side you see how this is sticking up a little bit the headlight um, so that's sticking up whereas this one is flat i kind of like how this one is flat and this one is just sticking out so i want to see if they can match this one with this side and also if you see the paint bending out a little bit on this fender i know it's very little but i'm gonna see if they could fix that as well and then also it's doing it here as well. So that actually might be normal with the Model Y. We see a little extra paint right there. There, you see a little paint issue right there. So that needs to get fixed. The hood is looking pretty on point as far as alignment goes. What I was concerned about with the hood is I'm just putting pressure here and moving my hand like this. And you can see the hood moving like that. You see it? Little issue there, I don't think that's normal. And also with this hood, you kinda could see that the hood is bent in, in the corner. It's obviously bent in. Whereas the other side, it is not bent in at all. So that's pretty much it for the front issues. That's a lot actually, it's actually a lot. Let's go over to the driver's side of the vehicle. So there is a paint issue right here. Small paint chip right there. This right here, I don't know if you guys can notice it, but this is not even, not the gap wise, but how flush this door is with this door. So this driver's door is actually sticking out more. So you can probably see it better from here. So yeah, so see this is actually sticking out a little bit more than this door. So they need to align that a little better. And then this is a big one. When I open this door, when I open the doors and close it lightly, I'm gonna go ahead, close it slightly. You see this, how there's a gap here. It's not closing all the way without putting a good amount of force in it. And we're on a flat ground right now. If we were like on, if we were on like a hill or something or kind of like at an angle, that door will not close without putting a lot of effort into it. As you can see, there's a big gap right here. You can really see the gap right here, which is just, it looks like it's open actually, but it's not. That's actually uh, the position where it's closed. That is just not, Good. I'm pretty sure that's an easy fix though, but like I said, Tesla has those quality control issues, so I'm not too worried about that. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and go on the passenger side of the vehicle. I think this side is pretty much the same too. This door right here, it's not lining up. I think you could probably see it better here because we're in the shade. From this angle, you're not supposed to even see this. You see this line? If you could put a card in there and it'll slide through, that means it's not even at all. Compare this, now compare this. This is actually off. This door is actually higher than it's supposed to be. You could actually see that right there. It's supposed to look something like that. You see how that's flat now? Dang. Dang, this car is clean though. I love this car. All right, so we're gonna move on to the back of the vehicle. You could see that there's these two scratches on the bumper. Let's we'll see if they could get those fixed. Here again, alignment issues with the tail light. A big gap here and then it goes down into a little gap. Whereas in the other end, it's just on point. Like compare this, you see how flush that is? Compare how flush that is and then look at it on this side. 
it's just not that even. Let me go to the inside of the vehicle. One thing I noticed when you pop the trunk, you could see they left a little bit of sound deadening there. One thing I did notice too that everybody else notices is that this seat is uneven with the other seat. Let me swing around and now you could see that it is just uneven. There's a scratch right here on the back of the seat. That's not coming off. I tried cleaning it off. With the steering wheel, you could see that there's a mark here. It was sort of like a sticker over the T to protect it. I wanna see if they could take that out. You could see that this side is pretty flush, whereas this side, you could definitely, you could definitely see a gap there. I'm even pushing it in almost. Definitely see a gap there. We got some dirt here. So they need to address all these things in service. Another issue that you might wanna check with your car is to check underneath the actual car and see if you have any loose bolts. I'll just show you guys right now. I'm gonna just dip down low. Now I'm able to see if anything's like leaking or you know anything's dragging or anything like that, loose bolts. The reason why I say this is I saw actually somebody on the Reddit Model Y forums, they had a bolt loose and then they had that plastic lining actually dragging, so that's really bad. You actually end up returning the car. That's something to check. Another thing you wanna check for with the Model Y is they're known for dents on the pillars. Luckily, I don't have any dents on mine. So you wanna check both passenger side and the driver side pillars to see if you have any dents on the pillar. You also wanna check these USB-C ports if they are working. Also, you wanna check if these little coat hangers are supposed to fold in and out and then if that light's working. This might be pretty simple as well, but you might wanna check if all four windows roll down and using the individual door window buttons as well to make sure if they're good to go. You wanna make sure all these controls, these buttons work with the screen, everything is good with the screen, response to all the touches that you do. Make sure that this wireless charger actually works too. You wanna make sure these open and close correctly. When I first saw the center console on my dad's car, when I was trying to close it, I couldn't close it because when you close it, you're supposed to actually just lightly touch it just like that and then it'll close. But opening it, you just press down and lightly close. Something to get used to because you're used to just pressing it to close it for other cars, but I just like that nice soft touch to close it. It's pretty cool. This is not an issue, but it's a personal issue of mine. Oh. This is not an issue, but it's a personal issue of mine. This wood grain dash is just horrible. I'm gonna definitely be replacing that with a carbon fiber look alike. It looks pretty real actually, but it was only like 70 bucks on eBay. My dad got it for his Model 3 as well, and it looks just like the $500 ones. I'm gonna replace this with a carbon fiber lookalike one. Um, that's gonna be another video. Real quick, shout out to Bearded Tesla Guy. I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description below because he came out with a video going over a checklist when you're taking delivery with the Model Y. I look to that for reference. So pretty much those are all the factory issues with my Model Y. I'm pretty sure I forgot something. I'm gonna take it into service. If you guys like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you're thinking about getting a Tesla Model Y, my referral link is down below to get your free 1,000 supercharging miles. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.